How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Multi-ROM. It's an awesome tool that allows you to boot multiple OS's on your device and allows this to come up every time you boot the phone. It's awesome. And you can see here I have two different ones installed and I have basically stock uh, color OS and we have lineage OS installed on this phone and I can pick from either one on every boot along with lots of other cool features on every boot. So Multigram is very awesome, and today we're gonna to show you how to utilize it and install it on the OnePlus 2. Let's do this. So the device we're gonna install Multigram on here is my OnePlus 2 because they just ported this over and I'm really excited to do this and try it out and just show you guys the process. So to do it, the first thing you need to do is go into settings on your device and go down here into about phone and then tap on your build number. Now. This does require you to have an unlocked bootloader already, so you've probably seen how to do this. And basically go into developer options, and there's OEM is unlocked, is checked, and then you have um, ADB checked, and then check advanced reboot, because I think that one's really, really nice. So, um, like I said, unlocked bootloader is a requirement for this process, but as long as you have developer mode and you have all those things checked, you should be good to go. If you don't know how to unlock your bootloader on the OnePlus 2, I have a video on it, and I'll link that in the video description down below. So definitely check that out, along with all the files you're going to need to get multi-ROM installed on your phone. So everything will be in the video description. All right, from here, very simply, we're going to boot the device into bootloader mode and then go into our computer and uh, do some stuff here. So with the reboot option, you can now reboot to bootloader, which is really honestly pretty stinking cool. Um, and, and I'm liking it a lot. So basically, as soon as it reboots here into uh, bootloader mode, you'll see um, fast boot on the screen. And we'll go over to my computer and start running some commands to get multi-ROM functioning on this device. So there you go, fast boot mode. Let's go to my computer. All right, so the files that we're gonna need for this process are right here. Um, currently, they're in my uh, multi-round folder right here, along with some Lineage and OS stuff. But basically, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to work out of this. I'm probably going to even zip these up and give you guys a download link for them. Um, but basically, you can find all of this stuff right here, um, over here on XDA. Here's the post we're kind of working off of, and some stuff to install. And then you can download these files from this section right here, second post right there. And read about this. This is good, good information here. This will be very helpful for you getting multi-ROM working on your device here on XDA. Okay, so that being said, we've covered that. Let's get into this. So I've already connected my device. It was in fast boot mode, so I'm just going to go fast boot. We're going to um, use this fast boot file to, to do something here. So we're going to go hold shift on your keyboard, right click on your mouse, and then hit open a command window here. And you basically want to have a command window wherever your ADB and fast boot files are at. Now, um, if you have Android SDK, you can do it differently, or if you have it installed in the path, that's fine too. But um, if you open the com uh, command window here, wherever your ADB and fastboot files are installed, you'll be good to go. So we're going to type in fastboot devices, and you can see it's connected in fastboot mode. We've connected up to the computer. And then I'm just going to do fastboot get var all. And I'm doing this just so that you guys can see what's going on here with this device and I'm trying to see if it'll actually say it in here that it's unlocked and uh, actually it's interesting it doesn't normally you can see that the bootloader is unlocked here by running that command um, I'm not seeing a bootloader unlocked uh, well bootloader version yeah it's not really showing so sometimes you can see that not really important you just need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked from here we're just going to type in fast boot flash recovery okay space and then just drag in the twerp for multi ROM and I just grab it and drag it right in the window, and then you can hit enter. And that should go ahead and flash. And if you have an unlocked bootloader, it'll say just like this, no problems. If you have an error, it probably means your bootloader is locked still. Okay, so from here, we're gonna see if we can do fast boot, boot that recovery. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Let's try it and see if it works. Hit enter. And it did. And that should boot the device up right here into Torp Recovery which is absolutely awesome. Okay, so while your device is in Torp Recovery, which you're gonna see in a second, we're gonna do something. So we need to put some files over onto um, your device, and, and you can do that pretty easily. So let me just show you how we're gonna do it. Um, so you can close this out, we're done with it. We're gonna come over here and copy the multi-ROM file here, the package manager, the uninstaller and just copy those and we're just going to put them in the lineage os folder just for right now 
and then we're going to take this whole lineage OS folder because I'm going to install ROM in this process too and copy it and then we're going to put it on the device so here's the device here's the internal storage we're just going to paste it in right here and let that paste over to the device so that's copying the a ROM and some uh, Google applications push all the things to finish getting multi ROM installed right to the device so basically this interface pops up once you've booted twerp um, you'll have it open and you can get everything copied over so very very not hard not hard at all all right so everything's copied over that's pretty much the process we are done with the computer side of it and let's go over to my device and uh, finish this up all right here we go this is the edited version here of Twerp Recovery for Multi-ROM. So um, it's gonna look a little different, but pretty much the same, honestly, if you look at it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to finish flashing the file to get Multi-ROM fully functioning for us. So we're gonna hit install. We're gonna go to that Lineage OS file that we just copied over. And then we're gonna use not the uninstaller, but the normal one right there. And then inject Multi-ROM after install. Sure, let's do that. So swipe across. And it's gonna go ahead and basically inject and work on getting multi ROM functional so that's good so at this point it should be functional let's go into advanced all right so basically to get to the menu you need to get to it's this little tab up here so this looks very much exactly like twerp but we need to get into here all right and this is the important part so from here we can do a lot of cool things like swapping roms and doing stuff so currently you can go to list of ROMs. You can see there's none because all we, we don't have anything installed. But let's add a ROM because I want to install Lineage. And it says add ROM, multi-ROM installer files. So, so Android, type ROM, Android or multi-ROM installer. Let's just try Android. Um, internal storage because I don't have an S external storage. So hit next. And then we're going to do, we're going to do zip. We're going to add the Lineage zip. All right, please back button to cancel, swipe to confirm. So we're going to go ahead and swipe. Now what's interesting is that it didn't let me pick multiple um, zip files. So I think that's a little interesting about this process. Hopefully we can add one to it, to this ROM, once we've got it installed. So honestly, a little bit new for me running multi-ROM. I haven't used it in a long, long time. Uh, back in the Nexus 7 days, I played with it a bit. And it's pretty sweet. It's, it's an excellent utility if your device is supported. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to go back. So we don't want to add a new ROM. We want to go list of ROMs. There's lineage ROMs. So here, we want to go to install zip. And we want to go in here and install the Google applications for this ROM. So that goes ahead and so the ROM is the first thing you're installing and then the second thing you're installing is the Google applications. And when you have both those in there, we should have a fully functional ROM. That's, that's the goal. So you're just going to have to get used to the multi-ROM user interface here within Twerp whenever you're managing multiple ROMs. So the other thing I'd recommend, obviously, I mean, I didn't do it here, but you definitely want to do a backup of your device before you probably start any of this like multi-ROM installing and things like that so but I didn't do it I don't I don't care I can firm firmware restore this thing it's not a big deal to me but for those who think it's an issue you might want to do it okay so we're back out of it so at this point everything should be good we should have two different ROMs we can boot and which is one is the stock one I have and then the other one is a lineage OS so we're gonna go ahead and hit reboot and we're gonna reboot system and what should come up now, uh, I don't want to install this twerp thing, nope. What should come up on the device at this point is really sweet. You should have this new boot option here at the beginning with a menu. Every single time you reboot your phone, the menu should pop up. So, internal, cancel. All right, so you can see, I have two different ROMs on here. I have multi or internal ROM, which is the normal ROM, and then I have the Lineage OS, okay? So it's looking for external stuff. And then here I can do all kinds of stuff. I can reboot to recovery, reboot to boat loader, shut down. I can change my color because green is my favorite. I'm definitely changing to green. Um, you can see some different things. So currently I'm just going to go ahead and reboot, um, tap again to reboot internal. And I want to just see that our system is still booting up absolutely normal. And then I'm going to show you how to boot, basically boot again and we'll boot right back into lineage. 
and that should be a fresh install and we should be able to just go ahead and you know set it up and you'll have two ROMs on your phone with multi-ROM. On top of that I also want to install the application the APK um, on, on this device and I think you can also switch ROMs from the APK which is really really cool as well. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So we're gonna come in here and yeah, it looks good. That being said, we're just going to go ahead and quickly just reboot the phone and we'll boot up Lineage and make sure Lineage is working. So reboot and we can just do a normal reboot basically because every time you reboot the phone, it always comes up with the multi-ROM menu and allows you to maneuver and change what you, what you want to boot up on the phone, which is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Basically, you get the benefits of stock. Um, and you get the benefits of custom ROMs and you can switch and you could have them set up two different ways So it's pretty cool Using non kexic It's just gave you a notification there. So this should be lineage OS. This is the first initial boot for it It probably is going to take a little while to boot up um, So I just wanted to make sure it's going to work and check it out. I'm just curious Check out that animation Yeah, love it Alright guys, so just to show you guys Multi-ROM, I went ahead and um, got root access and installed Multi-ROM Manager. So it should be getting root access, so we're going to grant it. Um, I did have to install our Flash Super SU zip as well to Lineage because it's not internally rooted. So here you go, this is what you got. Failed to download information about update. Not really worried about that. Um, but what I wanted to do is just see in here, ROM Manager. Yeah, so excellent. So now you can see you can come in here and you can edit the name. So, like, I don't want to see all that garbage on it. I just want lineage. So, um, just, just like, works a lot better that way. So, now we've renamed the ROM. We should finish this process here shortly. And there you go. So, internal and lineage. I love it. It's excellent. So, the other thing you can do in here is you can do reboot and settings. So, you can just see there's just a couple things you can do. Um, you can also come in and install different updates from here. And I'm going to see if I can actually launch this. I can. So I can boot now. Well, actually, I don't want to do that. I, don't, I want to boot to internal. So I'm going to boot to internal. And you can see you can use uh, multi-ROM manager application to change your boot as to what, what OS you want to boot next. So stinking awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, guys, there you go. That is going to be multi-ROM here on the OnePlus 2. Again, check XDA to see if Multi-ROM is supported for your device. I'm going to put tons of links in the video description down below for Multi-ROM, for supported devices, for files you're going to need, pretty much everything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video here, and uh, stay tuned for more coverage soon. Catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.